Hey there everyone, Aaron Spalsberry here at 3X Logic. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a quick export with individual client software here. Now this is not like the standard export where maybe you had an incident that happened and you wanted to export some footage. This is more along the lines of I want to pull everything from the machine here and uh, export it to uh, you know maybe an external drive or a number of disks or whatever it is. You know we see this happen a lot of times when an incident may have happened across the street. The police show up and they say hey give us the last uh, you know three, four weeks weeks worth of video or whatever it is that you need. Well, the nice thing is, is we can do this from the remote client software. Over here off to the left hand side, you have an icon labeled quick export. If you double click this guy, it's actually going to connect up and bring up a number of options for you to choose here. Now here's kind of the neat thing about this. Fill single disk or drive, okay? Now end time, of course, is this moment in time right now on the 21st. That's what time it is here today uh, as I'm doing this video. And it is going to fill that single disk or drive as far back as it possibly can, which of course being the end time being right now. Uh, so it's going to look and say, oh, hey, you've connected a, you know, a one terabyte drive. I'm going to give you as much footage as I can back. Or maybe you've connected a 64 gig SD card. Whatever it is, we're going to try to fill it as much as we possibly can. Now, of course, you do have the option of doing a manual selection as well. The standard stuff is in here, you know, the typical calendars, date and time, so all, you know, all that wonderful stuff. But here's your export destination. Pretty straightforward kind of stuff, right? We click this button. We can choose. We can tell it, hey, I want to put it in my exports folder or whatever it is of course we also have the option of making a new folder as well all of the standard Windows stuff is in here pretty straightforward from that standpoint now you also have the option down here to do point-of-sale ATM data if you want that included or you can also include it as a text file but one of the other buttons down here of course is advanced if I click on this guy I now have options for what cameras and what information goes along with it please be aware the default for this if you don't come in here and uncheck any of these the default is going to be everything that the DVR has on it all cameras all audio all point of sale or ATM interface or any other data collection that is coming into the DVR we export all of that in one shot but needless to say once you have all of these uh, selections chosen down here all you have to do is just click start export and it will begin the process if you are recording lots and lots of footage you know you're doing 30 cameras for the last 30 days it's going to take a little while. Be patient, uh, of course, depending on what you're exporting it to, whether it be USB or network drive, of course, whatever bandwidth it is, it will take a little bit to, uh, to do the export. But needless to say, it is an option to do it through the remote client, to do it over a network, through the internet, whatever you want to do there. Uh, that's really all that there is to do in the quick export, guys. Thanks. We'll see you in the next video.